If you have trouble pressing multiple keys at once, then you can use something called sticky keys. So to access out the sticky keys settings, I'm going to go around onto this top menu right here and type in sticky right here. And here under settings, you can see sticky keys is an option. You can also turn on sticky keys by pressing shift five times right here. So over here, you can see that the keyboard shortcut for uh, sticky keys is press shift key for five times uh, to turn uh, sticky keys on or off. So now let's see how you can actually use this. So I'm just going to go around and close this. And to demonstrate what I mean, I'm going to open up the virtual keyboard right here. So let me just go around, type in keyboard so that I have access to the on-screen keyboard right here, as you can see. So if I were to press shift right here, you can see that uh, as I tap on this, it actually goes around right here and prompts me to uh, open up the sticky keys. Let me just close this. And if I were to hold control or alt right here, tap it, you can see that they do not become active. But uh, sometimes what happens is that you might have a hard time pressing multiple keys at once. So in that case, sticky keys is actually helpful. So to enable out sticky keys, I'm going to go around, press C shift five times on my keyboard, one, two, three, four, five. And what happens is that it says, do you want to turn on sticky keys? So I'm just going to go around and say yes right here. So now if I were to press it once, you can see that it actually uh, makes it as if uh, I am holding the shift key right here. So as soon as I type something else uh, on my keyboard, uh, then what happens is that uh, the shift is um, in not in the whole position anymore. So if I want to uh, use multiple keys, I can press control once on my keyboard right here, just tap it and you can see that it'll be on the whole state. So even if you're not physically holding the keys, the sticky keys allows it to be holding it. You can press alt and now, now it'll act as if you're pressing both of the keys together. So press shift right here. And again, you have third key right here, press something. And what happens is that uh, it'll actually go around and make it seem as if you hold, held all the four buttons. So for some reason you want, you can't hold out uh, multiple keys together. You can turn on sticky keys and press one by one key together and it'll act as if you are pressing all of the keys together. Uh, that is uh, as if you're holding the keys together inside of Microsoft Windows 11. So that is how you can use the sticky keys inside of Microsoft Windows 11. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.